what is going on guys it's your boy since switch here bring you guys an adobe illustrator tutorial for today obviously it's not your basic you know symbol 40 or you know, photoshop for me this is illustrator obviously if it's in it's a different program so i kind of want to you know familiarize you guys or give you guys more experience in other programs for your little graphics career and stuff like that so we're going to be using adobe illustrator for today uh for today's tutorial and i'm going to be showing sure you guys how to make your own custom brushes and then with your custom brushes make your own custom signatures uh, which probably can resemble for a lot of you guys for your graphics artists and stuff like that. So anyways, before we get right into this tutorial, I'm going to quickly tell you guys my Tweak It CC color correction is out for purchase right now. Uh, so you can get the link down below in the description. It's 5 bucks, and this is this render right here is made by Rainy Arts. Uh, you can just type his YouTube channel in or YouTube channel name inside YouTube. Uh, he's fucking amazing. He's really, really good. And uh, this is what the Tweak It CC is. This is what it is right here if I just put it on. Uh, this is one This is one of the many, many different ways you can tweak it. You can have 75 plus ways to tweak it. And uh, the whole thing is you can just basically drop down this little thing right here and you have all these different groups. Uh, some of these groups, some of these like little groups have other quick t uh, tweaks in it. But you see the red uh, folders right here, these are all tweak it's. And this is basically what it does. You can just like, you know, I'm just going to check these boxes so you can see what the tweaks are. This is what some of them put on together. And this is what it kind of turned it into. You can see like, you saw the difference, you know, if I uncheck them and check them and stuff like that. And I don't really want to spoil it, but it's a really, really good CC. It has a nice, like, uh, nice dull color, you know, thingies, and you have, like, uh, your regular old choices. But anyways, if you want to get that CC, down below, link description, five bucks. And let's get back to the tutorial. So making your own custom brushes. We're going to get right into it. Uh, really quickly, I just want to show you what I what I, how I'm going to go about this. When you make your own custom brush, since I don't have, like, a tablet, you can't you really just use the pressure sensitivity and stuff like that how you would usually do a brush setting what I'm gonna be doing is using shapes or you can use a pen tool to make your own shape but I'm using shapes so that you know make sure it's horizontal because if it's not horizontal if it's like vertical uh, your you know your when you do your signature it's not gonna come out the right way because it's basically like your path says it's horizontal and you're trying to make straight lines uh, so make sure it's horizontal like the way you see it here and we can just get right into the tutorial now so now that you know that hopefully you get what I'm trying to say but I'll kind of repeat it afterwards but what we're gonna do is we're going to use a shape. So we're going to use either the rounded rectangle tool or the ellipse tool to make your own uh, brush. So if you want like a thick, like all round, like not thick, but a all round, like same width between the whole entire, like, you know, the stroke itself. Or if you want, you can use the ellipse tool and then just make a skinny brush like so, like make a skinny like stroke. Make sure it's horizontal, like I said, and they can make a skinny one like so. So it gets skinny to, to uh, you know, mid thick and then it gets skinny again. Uh, you can see I use that one for this one kind of here. It's kind of more thicker than this one though. So if I were to like, you know, just take my brush and sh show you what I mean, you can see how I get skinny to thick to skinny. That's basically what I have here. But if I made like a letter or something, you can see how I get skinny and thick to skinny. Uh, it just basically takes the, the, the basics of this one stroke that you put inside the brushes and then just like takes it and when you do your own lettering and stuff like that, wherever you use it for, uh, drawing or whatever, it takes that like, you know, that foundation and takes the the thickness and stuff like that but anyways um fuck you for coming up anyways <laughs> uh what you do is when you have your stroke already done so if you want to use this or if you want to do like a really cool little like accent or swirls in it like i have here uh, i can go right here this little tools you have these warp tools uh twirl tools pucker whatever all these other tools and some of these just do like little things where you can kind of like make like you know make it look weird in between these strokes or whatever so if you want to use like something like crystallize or wrinkle kind of wrinkle the whole thing up or whatever so if you want to do something like that let's say if you want to have that as the the brush uh you know custom brush so what you do is go to your selection tool and you just click on that and what you do now is you don't have this little brush table open what you want to do is go to windows brushes or press f5 uh, for the shortcut and what you do is you can just you know you can just drag it out if it's like stuck in here just drag it right out and what you do is just click on this with the selection tool and then just drag it right inside this little uh brush tables and then it's gonna, it's gonna pop this little little window is gonna pop saying new uh, new brushes. You can either click scatter art or pattern brushes. What you want to have is art brushes, which that will do is just basically take the when you're like doing your little letters or your drawing or whatever you're using the brush setting for, uh, basically like takes it and like make sure it's like really smooth and stuff. That's what kind of Illustrator kind of does. And then you press art brush, press OK. You can name it whatever you want to name it. So if it's this case, I'm just gonna name it tutorial. Um, and then just press OK. You don't need to change any of these settings. It's all good. And then once you have that, you can see the brush setting will pop up right under your brushes right here. So if I were to just delete this really quickly and use my uh, brush, go to my brush. Now if I were to do this, it would take the basic, like, you know, the foundation of how I made this stroke and kind of like, you know, just keep it the way it was. So you can make your own stuff. So that's how you basically make your own custom brushes. Uh, you can kind of see what I did. I mean, it's really not too difficult. Like I said, you can use pen tool. So if you want to do like something like a triangle, let's say if you did a triangle, right? 
and uh, we just basically press control and then hold it so the free form comes up and did like a horizontal like pattern like that or a horizontal like stroke like this and if I were to take my selection tool click on it drag it inside here art brush press ok name it, whatever you want to name it press ok and then if I were to go back to my brushes and if I do like this this thing will be you know how it is so if I want to like that have like a little tentacle effect or something like that so that's how you make your own custom brushes so if you want to make uh, or you want to differentiate yourself between like the to uh, the signature artist. That's how you made. It. That's how you basically want to do it. You want to just make your own custom brush so no one else has it, and then you have that like little cool thing. So you want to do something like that, like have like a triangle, and then use some of these warp tools, right? And use like the crystallized thing or something. And then, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. But you know, just being creative. So now we can actually get into the tutorial where we're gonna show you guys how to make your own signature, which I'm terrible at, but uh, I'm I can I can do something good. So I'm gonna make myself a really nice skinny little uh brush thingy not this one I'm gonna use ellipse make myself a nice little skinny brush like so so throw that in here art brush press ok and then I'm going to go ahead and make a new layer open my uh, use my brush make sure I use this one because I want to use this one make sure I make my stroke to like one so it's nice and skinny and I'm gonna do is just basically we're gonna go ahead and uh, try and do a nice ass. Maybe I'm gonna make this a little more bigger, too. Yeah, I guess. So I'm gonna make myself a nice S. So what you wanna do when you're making your own signature is just basically trying to do like your own thing. You wanna make your own custom letters for like each letter, or like make like a fluent writing. If otherwise, if you wanna write like script, if you wanna write like in your regular basic like you know, like something like that or whatever. You wanna write it something like that. You can do that, but you know I'm just gonna try and make it cool. So I'm gonna like. Do something cool. I'm gonna try and be cool. Uh, this is the worst thing to ever watch from me is trying to make your own signature. Okay, let's just say that's a really nice S. No, it's really not, so you can't really imagine. So I'm gonna make it like that, something like this. Make your own little uh, you know, accents to whatever you want. Uh, here we go. Let's just say that was cool. Then you have another S, then you can do your little O or something. You can do something like that right right and mind you that if you're oops, if your letters are too far apart you can always take your selection tool and uh, since you're doing one letter at a time the path is gonna only show uh, those for those only letters so you can actually move them at like by itself by using your selection tool so if I'm just gonna click on the ear or whatever I want to move it over and if I want to hold shift and click on more than one and then I can just take this point hold control and just move it so that's how you do that so if you want to do that you can do that and then I'm just gonna do that for this. Move it down a little bit. But now you can also do something cool. So other people, some people like like to do it like this, where they have like, uh, let's say if their name started with an E. So I'm just gonna make an E or something. But they're like that. The thing is like really really long, so they can like that's like the E, right? Or if their name was like I don't know Ellen or something. Like that's what they would do. And then sometimes you can also do like this. You click on the brush and make like a nice really big dot or whatever, and have it like at the end. Uh, what the hell? Mm. Mm. Like a little cool dot at the end. Hold on, I'm like messing up. I gotta use the default one. Oh my gosh, here, like a dot there, at the end. So something like that. You can see people do that. I'm sorry if you're my dog, by the way. It's a stupid dog, but uh, you can do something like that. Um, but otherwise, you can also do something like this. You can go back to your own little custom brush that you had, that I had going. And if I just can do something like this, I can just like surround the letters with like a cool little outline like so and then you get something like that and they can go back to those dots thing or whatever and then you can just like put a dot at the end of each one or something like this or like that and like that I don't know but just be creative with it so you basically want to do something like this not anything like this well you want to take example of what I did here and you know otherwise you can use your own brush setting and like you know make your own cool little thing so if that's your E right something like that and that can be your signature right I don't know so anyways Hopefully you guys enjoy this t little tutorial. I know the signature part was like terrible because I'm like a really bad signature artist. But hopefully you guys understand how to make your own brush settings now in Illustrator. So anyways, hopefully you guys enjoy. And don't forget to check out my Tweak It CC if you haven't already. If you want to go download that and purchase it, you could. It's down below. And uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe and stuff. And I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Peace out. So switch you out. Peace.